was a great talk, friends. And I hope that you enjoy learning more technology things. Um, and do I need to say those words actually together? I can just, so I've, I'm done. Thanks. I don't know whether I have anything important to say about technology and friends, but they're both important things in my life. Choose what you do with yours carefully. We want to use technology to save the earth and help our friends. We're technologists. We write software. But one of the things I care about a lot is the economic impact of software. The cost of writing the code, but more important, the cost of maintaining the code. I'm just going to say, friends don't let friends write bad quality code. I wish we had some shawarma technology friends. I've seen an awful lot of changes in technology. I've been paid to program since 1979, and things change a lot. But the one thing that doesn't change is it's a way to connect to the people that matter to me, to my friends. Whether it's a conference flying me to another continent and me getting to see my friends there, or whether it's just staying online through one of the 73 products I seem to have open at any given time for talking to people, uh, there's always a powerful way to stay in touch with your friends. Here I am at the NDC Oslo, um, where we're a big conference, meeting a lot of friends, learning about a lot of technology, having a great time. You should come to this conference too. For every one of you that has watched this uh, show, uh, first I have to thank you. Uh, technology is what uh, makes me really passion, I have this passion to share uh, the knowledge with all the community. I have been here for 10 years and uh, met a bunch of friends working on this and when you do things uh, with passion and with your friends that's when and magic happens and things like the Darnet Conf uh, get done. So I encourage all of you to uh, get with your friends and do big stuff. Okay, I have to talk about technology and French, but this is how I'm going to do it. I didn't want to do it in French because if si I speak in French now, I will speak of technology and my friends, but it's not what you want to do. I will speak of technology and French. So here's what I'm about to say. People, let's use technology to make the world a better place. So we're all going to be friends. Um, no more political um, adversities, nothing, just friends by using technology. J'avais rien à dire, voulait que je parle de la technologie, je l'ai fait. Alors bonsoir, salut et à bientôt. Hola, mis amigos de tecnología, or to say in English, hi technology friends. I love hearing about the really, really cool ways that you may be using Python in your day to day, be it you're just learning how to play with some code and Python seems like a fun language because you like Monty Python or, you know, you like Python snakes whatever, or maybe you're doing something really, really nifty with Python, like some machine learning project that's pretty interesting. For example, I have a machine learning project using Python where I use a deep learning neural network to create telenovela scripts. That, that's those really, really intense soap operas. If you are looking to share anything at all with Python, I'm definitely the person that would love to hear about that. You can contact me at lorenamessa.com. My email address is on there as well as my Twitter. I would love to hear from you. And thank you so much for catching a little bit about the Python Software Foundation today. Hasta luego. Many times my friends didn't understand the technology that I am creating, but they believe in me. And that's the most important fact. I don't always use technology, but when I do, I like to include my friends. The most lasting friendships I've ever had have always been created around technology. That's cool. Okay. I like that. Pro tip, whenever you're using technology and exploring different technologies, when you're ma making things to change the world or to change and make your life easier, the best people to beta test and alpha test are your friends, without a doubt, including David Giard. He's great. Lego is about technology and friends. I build my friends with Lego technology. Do you want to say something, honey? Maybe take that one. Say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. <laughs> No, that's about technology, so yeah, you don't like that yet, but you'll grow up and you'll love it. <laughs> David, it's wonderful to be here again at Microsoft Ignite, speaking about technology and friends, and getting our technology friends interested in C Sharp 8. Hey friends, let's impact others with technology. <laughs> it's technology and friends on YouTube. Our friends in technology can be moose. 
Serverless is a great technology to connect with friends. I hope you enjoyed learning about technology with me and my friend Dave. Welcome all of my friends to another chat about technology with my good friend, David. Hi friends in Pittsburgh and elsewhere, all the friends I've met in technology all around the world. I'm thinking of some of you right now. Hey, I want to invite you to invite me to play a game with you as soon as we have a chance to. As we close this out, I just want you to remember some of our conversations, uh, particularly out of my book, Life Adds Up, and technology founders like Bill Gates that have went on to do extraordinary things. It would not have been possible without friends like Paul Allen or some of the people that helped him along the way. Similarly, in your life, you're going to need people to help you to get to where you are. I'm reminded of the quote, uh, no man is an island of himself. And uh, if you remember that and you continue to evolve in your mindset and be open and willing to take what life throws at you and to make something out of it, you'll be well on your way to success. So I hope that you continue moving forward. Thank you. Technology is best shared with friends. It, um, it is because of this technology conference, Code Mash, that has turned into Kids Mash, that I have um, such a great friend in Gabrielle Sump. And without this conference, I wouldn't have known that. Perfect. <laughs> the thing I like the most about technology conferences, conferences is to come here and meet new friends and meet with all friends from all around the world. Thank you very much for hosting me at this very great interview. I saw that there is uh, hundreds of episodes with the Technology and Friends interviews. I'm really sad that I didn't saw those interviews before, so I'm <laughs> going to spend some time uh, probably downloading or live, watching online uh, for, from, the, from the YouTube and of course sharing with the other friends which are very, very close to the technology. My friends, technology and sports are always, always connected. And uh, we, uh, in, this, uh, in this show, we, we wanted to show you the best, uh, the best of what we can get today with, uh, uh, by combining technology and sports, uh, sensors, and uh, uh, the, best, the best we know about human movement uh, with machine learning and AI. Technology is both your friend and your enemy. Um, if you really want to master it, you have to let it guide you, but you also have to be willing to sort of kick it in the face occasionally. Um, it's, it's a beautiful tool, and it also can ruin your day. So just be prepared to fail a lot if you're getting into this field, but also know that you're going to accomplish some really cool things. Some people use technology to make friends. I use technology to be a friend. I am Raf. I love technology. I am here at the MVP Summit, and uh, I found a lot of friends inside the Visual C++ team and the .NET team. Bye-bye. Open source technology. It's fun by yourself and it's fun with friends. I don't know. The, the, the greatest thing about technology is you make new friends. <laughs> Does that work? I've been in technology a long time. And one of the things I love about it is how many friends that I've made around the world and the ideas that I've generated from those folks and projects that I've gotten to work on and people that I've gotten to meet. And hopefully you've had the same experience. Technology is best served with friends. Uh, I hope everyone is enjoying Ignite. Uh, it's great to be here with uh, a lot of friends. And um, we're learning a lot about uh, the new technologies that are coming out from Microsoft and the community. So uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. We don't have to have HTTP to communicate about technology with friends. Many of my friends get together on Wednesdays for Windows Insiders Meetup. We meet online and wherever I find myself physically, and we talk about technology and Windows. Thanks to the wonders of modern technology, I can say to all of my friends across the planet, go Red Sox. Hey there, my name is Jeff Fritz, and I'm live broadcasting here on Twitch about science, technology, and friends, just like the folks there in the chat room. I never thought when I started speaking uh, at conferences that how many friends I would make in the technology world. Okay, this show is about uh, technology and friends and what is very nice to know is that we are here in Romania in a beautiful location. It's my second time here this year and this is how you can see that technology can make friends because you meet other speakers, you meet other participants and well that's that's very cool that's technology and friends joined together in one conference and in this show technology is awesome 
Friends are more awesome. Don't let one replace the other. Technological, Technological innovations, innovations are, are most meaningful when they're, they're used to impact the lives of your friends. friends. Technology is awesome, and we're all friends. Hi, friends. One of the best things about going to these conferences and, and doing these demos and, and all the different high-pressure things that we do with technology is, is literally meeting people who are compelled to not only make technology bait, uh, better, but to uh, you know, like work together to you know, make awesome things happen, uh, whether it's building a cool product or demonstrating that cool product or figuring out how to use that cool product in your shop. Uh, and I think that's one of the greatest things about the field of technology is the big community of friends that we have in it and how we can work together to make things awesome. Thank you for joining this YouTube video. And I hope that you go out and learn all about Logic Apps and the technology and realize how much fun it is um, and how easy it is to start your system integration and your workflow within Azure. And every time we go out and talk about it, um, I will admit, I feel like I walk away with everyone being my friend and, using, uh, and enjoying using Logic Apps. I really think that the best part about technology is that it brings friends like us together. Because I would never have met you if it were not for technology. In my talk yesterday, uh, I had an example where we're talking about somebody doing manual testing where they, they had to make the software go and it would call one of those old nerdy 90s flip phones. Uh -huh. And just thinking, like, watching old episodes of Friends, how much better our technology is today. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome to this you know, new technology in this uh, amazing fast pace. Uh, hopefully, you can learn something from IoT and a lot of other things from people like you know, myself or you know, friends that David has. Many more to come in the future. Thank you. First, friends don't let friends use bad technology. And two, friends help their friends learn how technology works. This is such a great experience. Uh, I will volunteer to do just about anything anybody ever asked me to do for the sake of technology in Chicago. It's something I, I definitely believe in. Um, and I, I feel like uh, in Chicago, people go to events. To, they don't just make connections and hand out their business cards. You can make real friends here, friends that will last your entire lifetime. Um, that's why I do what I do for my friends. I, I, uh, I want to Maybe I'm crazy, but I want to be friends with everybody. I, I, uh, I'm a kind-hearted, loving person who just wants to help out this awesome city. Um, I think that our, our technology scene's going to do nothing but grow. And, um, yeah, and, and everybody's friends here in Chicago. Technology uh, gave me the, uh, the ability to know a lot of, of new persons in the in my work and well in the community for example well we are now in the uh, MVP summit um, I knew uh, a, no, a lot of new friends uh, by giving stocks um, um, sharing my knowledge about the technology so I'm really happy with that I, I really love technology uh, and it gave me a, a lot of new friends like I really appreciate that. I've been with Microsoft for almost 28 years now, and I get the question a lot, what keeps me coming here year after year doing the great work that we're doing here? And I gotta tell you, it's all about doing technology with my friends. I watch Game of Thrones, I watch Barry. I really appreciate the technology that allows me to do that, especially when I'm sitting around with friends. But you know what I'm talking about, right, David? One of my favorite things to do is go to conferences where I can get as much technology as I can and meet with the friends that I only see at conferences. I've spent my whole, I've spent my whole career working with technology and I've done some really interesting stuff. I've been fortunate enough to work on some really interesting projects and got stuck into some great technologies. I've helped teach people get further along their career path, but actually the, the most beneficial thing I've found is is the friends you make along the way. So I've been to, fortunate enough to speak at conferences, to speak at meetups, to help mentor new speakers, uh, to help people in their career, and made friendships that are, that are long-lasting. So the technology will die, all the projects we write will sometimes be replaced, but the friendships will, will last on. David asked me to talk about technology, David asked me to talk about friends, David is also obviously a, a very good friend of mine. We've met so many years before, and we not only share our passion for technology, we share so much more together. Our passion for communities, our passion for new, good, new and good products, our passion for good friends and good people. A lot of times I 
I said I have a background in recruiting and people ask me what my career advice boils down to. And a lot of times I boil it down to learn stuff, meet people and help them. And that's how you grow your career. But one of the cool side benefits of all of this is through being so involved in our developer community, being so involved in our technology community, I've actually made a lot of friends who are some of the closest friends I have in life. You know, one of the things that I find it very exciting is that I you know, go to a lot of conferences, um, and even with people from other companies, maybe AWS and Google. But one thing I find is that we're all excited about technology, and it has allowed me to connect with many people, uh, you know, make new friends, and uh, 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 David is a great example. I think every time we meet each other, uh, we kind of talk about something new. Hey, do you have anything to share with the community? So it's a, it, it, discussing about these things is not only just about technology, but it's about connecting with people, making friends, and sharing that we are all very passionate about. Well, hello, my friends, and uh, thank you for listening. And uh, you know, I think what brings us together is the technology and the feeling of community. So I'm really happy to be here on video with David and uh, to have uh, this occasion to visit Chicago. Hopefully you'll have fun listening to the video as well. Hey friends, this is the Link Kink here. I'm telling everybody to uh, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater when you're using Entity Framework as a technology source. Uh, learn how to make it performant and we'll talk to you about that. Thanks. It's amazing um, having this interview with David. Now I'm looking to have um, lunch with um, other technology, people in technology who are friends um, because they're developers. And the good thing is they're Java developer friends, which I love. Thank you. Well, Pilgrim, it's been an honor to talk to you. I mean, we've been friends for a long time. And this use of technology, well, it's just, you know, out of this world. Thank you, Pilgrim, for the time, and I hope you have a, a great rest of your day wherever you are. This is a great week. There are so many of my friends. We're all hacking on technology. We're all together for one week in, uh, in CSE, and uh, I couldn't imagine a more fun place to be. <laughs> are you sure you're ready for this? Okay. I just love being at technology conferences with all my friends, having great conversations about how to fuck the patriarchy. Now remember, if you got the technology, we've got the friends. As I was talking about, I really love to, to teach and talk about my friends, about technology. It's a kind of interesting topic. We have a lot of fun talking about it, do a lot of jokes, and that's it. If you work with SQL Server in any capacity, Go to pass.org and learn how you can learn more about database technology and make some friends. So what's the best technology for making friends? I don't know, but we've got stuff to do. My advice to anyone wanting to get into technology is that you make a lot of friends who are doing the same thing as you. And don't forget to tell your friends about the great technology that Ross and the Nanos users are. Thank you. My statement in terms of bringing the two words, friends and technology, together is like, regardless of how interested we are in technology and tinkering with things, we shouldn't forget about spending a decent amount of time with our friends. I mean, when we are kind of at the end, um, we, I'm, I'm sure we won't wonder why we didn't you know, build that other thing while we could have spent some time with, with friends and family. So make sure not only computers. Most of my best friends that I have met, I've met through technology and speaking at conferences. One of the things that I like best about learning a new technology is that I can share that knowledge and make new friends. My friends love technology. The thing I love the most about technology is not just the tech. The tech is fascinating, but really coming to those conferences and meeting all the friends that I made in the past 15 years and the community feeling is really what is driving me. I love that feeling. I'm really super happy to be here uh, with David and you know talk about um, what we do. But there are also a lot of speakers who are longtime friends, and this is really a fantastic feeling. Thank you so much for having me. Creating interesting technology is coding with your friends. SignalR is a technology 
that allows me to connect with my friends in real time. The only thing I love more than technology is my friends. At ResponsiveX, I get to build some awesome technology with some of my closest friends. Pumpernickel and technology isn't as great as friends. Today we talked about technology like Surface and the Microsoft Surface, and that was with friends like David. So the most magical thing about technology is when it brings friends together. Hi, this is Angela Dugan. I'm at VS Live Chicago with David Giard. I always love having the opportunity to sit down with friends and talk about the people side of technology. Technology has enabled me to make friends all over the world and realize that I'm not alone. You can make a lot of friends with technology. It's really nice of technology to bring friends together. I consider my work colleagues to be my friends. Um, we like to go out and socialize, and when we do, we end up talking about technology most of the time. I can't wait to see what technologies you and your friends build with GitHub Actions. One of my favorite things about being at a conference like VS Live today in Chicago is seeing old friends, meeting new friends, and getting to share information about new technology. What I recommend everybody do is go to your friends in technology. Go to the people you know and start talking about this in ways that you feel safe. Find friends that you can support each other because that kind of mutual support, that peer support, is essential to surviving in any kind of world. I got into this field um, in high school, really. Uh, a group of friends and I um, were exploring electronics technology and software technology, and we all but dropped out of high school. I mean, we continued to go, but every spare second was in a study hall or, or some other place where we could gather together and draw circuit diagrams or write little programs. Uh, we stayed after school to fiddle with the, the, the computer science lab. We went home after school and worked on it. We spent our summers working on it. We were friends wrapped up with a certain technology. If you're not already watching Technology and Friends, I'm going to highly recommend that you do. I'm going to start watching all of the back ones that I've missed and uh, keep watching forward. So definitely go watch Technology and Friends. Dave's doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Bye. Technology, friends, let's do this again.